That's why it wasn't true. Hey, look, there's a fourth member. That gate, I guess you're not there. Okay. Oh, damn. Maybe I am. Shoot the damn eyes, guys. Oh, it's him, he doesn't know that policy. Look, I don't know, is that the guy from the Sunken Time, John, bro? I mean... I feel like you're a plan based it. Where did Sudan do some job at? Don't you have some guy to dumb me into a build That looks like an absolute crackhead. Not a pleasant one either. Alright, we're going in. Okay, so it's a big off. Well done! Keep up the good work! I feel like this is going good. Honestly, better than I actually imagined, too. Usually, by now, someone would have died. Then again, this is just an easy raid. No one wants to get the cracks on the top of this. This is easy. Okay. We're about halfway there now at this point. Nah, one. Oh, this might actually put me off here because I'm gonna it. Oh yeah, use that grappling pin on him. So far so good. Are you holding up there, boys? Yeah, clearly, yeah. Wait, yep, hell. Oh God damn it, truck. You can't see the mines? I don't want to go to Brazil. Damn. Oh, I should actually bring in six and six pass. That was a piece of damage. Oh hey, this is a map we can fight on in the uh, multiplayer, I believe. At least part of one. That's cool. The main way we won't deal with the body go fight. Those audios. You see a one free repair a battle. Yeah. That was the first death officially. Big said. But yeah, they still ain't paying me though. That's the thing you gotta keep in mind. I really need to actually get a cooler anode and satisfying it off. I think they'll brace the shotguns. <laughs> so we gotta pick up these items and deliver it back to the uh, truck. Oh, the boss fight this raid should be over. The further you go, the harder it gets. How about you fight us then, bro? If it's so hard. Yeah. Free repair kit. Got some fuel. Some kind of weird engine on the back. Behind us. Okay, the only one I trust is the right now. Okay, here we go. 
and that's gonna get 10% past, so it's not even like 40, but yeah. If you're in front of it, it counts as look after the mines. It counts as escorting. So. These are not so I think they're mines. Depends on how much they got. Uh oh, that's a turret. We don't hear. Look out to the left. Enemies incoming. Eat this. Eat this. Oh, okay. Or oh, oh, just dog me. Once you kill the boss, we'll be a victory once it comes out. For the size of ready to finish, I think here I am ready. Well, it doesn't see your name, so clearly it's not you. And you're actually thinking, oh god! He's actually shredding me. He's got two guns! So not my bad. There's a problem there. There are many that's left in the game. Light mode up. Hello, standoff lover. Hey, happy day. I'm gonna put this on the right there. Yeah, he said, hope you don't get standoff. So, yeah, we got paid. Not enough, in my opinion, but yeah. Yeah, well, when you get 4,000, you can get just normal difficulty. Honestly. Left each. These clans though, not clan, oh yeah, clans, we're on back to normal PvP, there's the obligatory one ready today, to stay happy, yeah, um, let's see, ready for a salvage ray, let's see how the wasp is doing, y'all fuckers really, really want this wasp, I'm gonna get it before y'all, how do this? I, I want to have. I want to go. Haha, -ha, funny rockets. I want to be a bad guy too. Set. Man, so these people are really just gonna get saucy out here. Don't let's undercut you because of the way you did me. You know you don't deserve it. Uh, any additional challenges like craft or sell thing on the market? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, what's going on? Let's look at the crate we got for base building. Decorative container. If we're lucky, we'll get anything besides the commons. That looks like we're lucky. Ramp of the horseman. Stop sawing. Small metal canopy. Go to the day. All kinds now have a built in scope which can activate with that. So, all cabins have built in scopes now, so that's what that is. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Let's see a low power one because the first thing you get is like double it. Uh, Sevy, which is like other cause being quite. I've never seen them, never seen CGI, I've seen Click, not enough to know what they use. Sevy. Uh, it's a mixture for that one. Here, let's help these matter or not. Wait, above Tectonic. Yeah, I think that guy uses melee. No one's expected to punch a melee build. Is that camouflage? They have camouflage stuff, it seems. Look out, dude, that's... Oh, bye. You're going to Narnia. Oh, no! Yeah, 
had. That's what the spinner weapon. Yeah, he had a booster. Yeah, so he hit you with the skinner and just dragged you in. Well, you sacrifice and I'll be forgotten. Too late. Check Twitter. Check the internet lately. <laughs> Now people watching this are like, huh? Like, aliens are gonna look at this and wonder what I'm talking about. And they're not gonna decide to pay with humanity. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh. Be greedy. Ah. Not funny. Yeah. Hello, there, Stando. Are you still there? I don't know. Just focused on the raid when that was happening. Yeah, my friend got sent to Narnia. Any thoughts on it, big boy? Being sent to Brazil and Narnia in the same go? Or... I he cool being sent to Brazil, guys. Make sure you do that for him. I, you gotta get in credit, though. You know, you said you wouldn't get my guy at the Sam Dunk build, and that's a unique build you got hit with there, you know? So I got a question. Do you respect the guy who did that to you? Is so, a uh, big boy? Any thoughts on what that guy did to you? Or you got no comment? Uh, he has no comment on it. What? Well... I don't know, I didn't see you get tangled up in barbed wire and then choked out. Oh! Oh, so it's, okay, so... She had a booster on. Johnny Cage! I can't- He legit looks like Johnny Cage! Or in fact, he looks like a fucking no He looks like a knockoff Steve from Stranger Things, too. <laughs> i never seen a Fuka clan. Can't say what they specialize in. Low power square, though. So it could be a steel clubber. And for anyone who's out there who doesn't play a lot of cross, I doesn't know. A steel clubber is someone who brings you know, a high level explodes. weapon, like legendary relic, to low power scores. Now you got your glass cannons, or glass cannons to a power score, but then steel clubbers are a different breed, where they really just do cabin wheels and then the weapon, and that's it. And absolutely no armor, usually. They can usually dominate if they're good at the game and stay stealthy. And see, I'm fine, my friend. It's gonna lead to our death, but why not? Why not? I laid this. Oh, he has thunderbolts. Those are deadly weapons. I like how this guy next to him is not even helping him. Yeah. Yep. Now we jump his teammate. Nope, he wasn't AFK, he just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, he had a wasp bill, that's why. Get that out of here. Destroy them. At least we're on the point. Actually, if we capture this, we win. Since we have the A point, it's majority, not all. Alright, sure. I, I, I got you. Just remember, the brakes are still batting. This is a fast car. Come on, engine! I spent a like 300 on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. S say fuck you to the driver and that smoke, but yeah. Hey, okay, we win though. We lose. Well done. Fantastic work. 
device. Up with the blast off. Yep, still hanging up top. Uh, hello, the Shadow Queen. Hope you're having a good day today. Ahoy, and all that. See, I could reel that big boy. Usually, right about now, the 3500 and Triple X3 clan will be on. But I'm guessing there's no clan battles, which is why. Yeah. It's good that you're having a good day. Can I check that again? Is this looks like exhibition? No. Uh, I forgot how you look at clans. I guess I'm very straightforward here. Go clans and tournaments. Yeah, battles not going on. Yeah. I came for selfish reasons. Oh. Well. Well, that's fine. As long as you enjoy here and all that. But if I may ask, what is your selfish reasons for coming here? Someone in chat, G. Uh. Task is to the enemy base. I g guess log clans are on today. I am curious after all. You are our guest in this stream. Shadow Queen. It's just questions. Alright, hit me with them and I'll see if I can answer them or not. When I do have the time, that is. Alright. Let's get Matt out of here. Alright, what's there? Oh, our, our man's in jumped over here. That's what's happening. Okay, I'm not gonna do a 1v50. Sorry. Oh, he got some air! I turned out just in time to see that. And it was a bot, so. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll just clip it though. Because I am streaming. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I can face that shotgun build. Looks like they're pretty disabled though, so I'm just gonna go for their base. Crap, they're actually faster than I thought. Even my engine won't be able to save me here. Hey, have faith in me. Any or and our other teammate. We can all pull it back. Okay, maybe you're dead, but have faith. We can still pull it back. Okay, maybe we can't pull it back. Rip. I haven't played this game since the Crash Crowns came out of nowhere and ruined it for me. My question here is, have you felt a particular change to movement for the game ever since? I noticed movement in this game turned to garbage ever since that hiatus. Um... Now, I'm assuming you're talking about, like, wheels and all that, and not, like, um, the legs and hover jets in the game. Because, out of all the movements in this game, I don't have the experience with augers. Or... jets, really. Uh, there are side movement things that let you go left to right. But, mostly wheels. Um... I will keep it honest with you. I have felt a change where it feels like when I turn, it sometimes overcommits a little bit to the turn. And I don't think that used to be a thing. But overall... Mm, actually, movement is shell. Yeah. Also going forward is weird too, but... Yeah, there's a little bit of changes to movement, I'd say. Because one thing that I find weird is if I'm going out at a high speed and I slam into a wall if I get free I automatically go like the speed I crashed at like I'm going 31 right now but if I get free 
Well, we're hitting it. Yeah. Like, I'm going 74 right now. Let's see, can I get free from this? Probably. Remember, I am on console, so if you are on PC, it will, of course, feel different between us. And that is not something I can personally tell you about. You go forward and back. Yeah, that's how it's always been. At least on console. No PC. Yeah. On console, though? It's always been forward and back. We're going forward and back. I'm going forward now if I reverse. Be chilling. But yeah, I haven't. I was talking to the person in chat, Shadow Queen. She vibing. Yeah. I have to say, I haven't felt that big of a change to wheels. All of that has been some tiny ones, though. I would say. I mean, yeah, that comes with someone who uses racing wheels on mostly fast builds, so. Careful with your opinion on that. No, my opinion on that, I should say. I suppose, I mean, yeah, I know that. Like, I'm holding forward right now. And all that. And I still go forward no matter. Like, it's basically like cars pointing. And not your camera. We're losing people. No turning back now. Um, can we win this? Maybe. I disabled you. Oh, you had a hidden shotgun. I gotta respect no that. Heroics, boys. Attack from the yeah. rear. Well, to be fair, I am on console. I am playing on Xbox. So, what? Is it based on where your camera's at? Like the other two games God has made? War Thunder and Enlisted? Because that's so uh, that'd be a big sad for PC. Because <laughs> I know if I got a test drive right now, I'm holding forward. I'm still holding it, even going this way. And I hit that at the right angle, I guess. But yeah, how's the moon on PC though? For you, Shadow Queen. Oh, there. Okay. I'm on PS4. Oh. Well, how's it on PlayStation then? The movement is garbage. I see. Big sad. <laughs> Definitely interesting though. But um yeah. A click bro Sif Mounzi this time in the Cosby people. Got high up on our team in terms of clans. Um oh yeah. Uh, unrelated note, do you hear that actually gonna for cross out try to cross over the end of your Shadow Queen? It's just the markets won't be merged. That'd be nice. Uh, how are you doing right now, big boy? With the current power score in your build? Oh, he just told me. Yeah, okay. There we go. I mean, is that the same build? Or did he refine it? Because I can't tell, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's the same exact build or if you updated it, but keep the same items on it. I don't know about you, but I'm snatching the enemy base here. No sleeping! Alright, and that's the answer I needed. 
No, no objective. I want to go with this other objective now. But uh, since you are a PlayStation player, have you? Uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, it's a type all my player. Yes, they've been at it. I'm fighting for my life. One guy has explosive mines, the other has a tether mine, if you come here. Uh -huh, I'm gonna win this in game. <laughs> I'll try to. Alright. Yeah, that's the explosive mine guy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They're the proximity base crap. Yep, and that is why I hate them. The proximity base. Let's say cars are looking backwards and cars stop. If you pull it it will go backwards. This messes me up big time. That is weird. But, um... Yeah, that does not sound great for y'all over there. Maybe for a lag, so they bring out hover jets, but not weird things. But, um, since you're a PlayStation player, I'm Xbox. Is there a lot of melee and mine builds at around three to 4,000 power score, or just in a lot of power score brackets in general for you? Because over here on Xbox, we're infested with it. There's gonna be some like, car always going forward no matter where the king was facing. So, when did this... Well, this would have to happen after the Cross Crowns update since he's played or stopped before. Uh, yeah, is there... Well, back when you played, because I don't know if you still do, was there a lot of melee builds in your lobby? He's... and mine builds. In fact, I don't even know if mines existed back then outside of the, uh, tether mines. Because... melee builds seem more popular than they were, like, two to three years ago. Than ever before. I guess it's what happens when you nerf the ramp build, though. Less steel club is though at least in my experience. Allow. Oh yeah, that shit is infested. And out of mod, I am not telling you to be strict whatsoever. But yeah, it seems to just gotten worse though, like tenfold. But even then. I'll say this, it is pretty easy to whack melee builds, if you know what you're doing. That said, I don't try to, unless I'm in the mood to ruin some people's careers. But I'll say there's two clans on Xbox that I associate with melee builds only. That's Triple X3 and 3500. Those two clans are always associate with melee builds. Oh hey look, 3,500, two of them. As I was just talking about them, and they have exactly 3,500 power score. So big boy, NJ Beatdown has a melee build. I don't know about BNPR Perry Barrels. Let's go, guys. I see. I mean, maybe in the game settings for you? I don't know, Shadow Queen. That does sound pretty bad for you, and I do hope you can find some kind of fix. Yep, the melee people are rushing us. Careful. There's the other guy in the clan. Yep, it's the clan people. And they're doing the fucking honking thing, bro. Yeah, I just want to say... There is hundreds of different types of weapons in this game. And these people still only stick to melee. And I'm gonna keep it real. If a clan recruits me and that's all I see from, I'm leaving. I'd rather creativity than practicality in my clans. Builds and all that. Yeah, I hope you can fix that. I mean, at least so you can get back into your groove and enjoy cross out once again. And maybe. Near to know when you have cross play, at least there's something to, we can probably play together. You never know. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we have a good chance of winning here. It's 2v2 right now. 
it all comes out of how our allies play it. They got one of us. It also depends on how smart this bot is. I'm gonna say half the time they're smart. What's your main bulky machine gun build? Um, I do switch it around a lot now. My friend is the machine gun build guy though. I don't know, big boy. Do you like using machine guns? You do? Yeah, big boy's the machine gun build guy. He's the bulky one. I prefer fast builds though that can hit hard. So basically, a fast glass cannon type build. So that'd be shotguns, um, wasps, all that kind of stuff. Literally. And my brother got his hair cut apparently. Huh. I just saw that. that. But essentially, fast builds plus high damaging stuff. Sometimes I even throw a phoenix on top of my builds. One of the most fun weapons in this game. Yikes, they won. Yeah. Let's go, so I'm gonna switch up my build now. Since really I don't like using the same build for a long time. I mean, I do sometimes. It's just that for the shotgun one, it's not made good. Because it's just thrown onto the original build and called a build. Uh, that one's too high power score. You know what, let's give this one a shot. Back then though, the synthesis was my go-to build. So this is my, uh, cannon build, as I say. Knock off Stug. Side mounted LMG and all that. Oh, well, let's see though. But here's one of my more favorite builds, though, that I've actually been using recently, is this one. Wasp plus a grenade launcher plus turret drop. Yeah. All it, I'll keep real, it does feel like they nerfed cannons damage, though, across the board from when I last played. Because they don't feel like they pack as hard of a punch anymore. Oh, that could just be me being bad, though, honestly. So we have our... Hold on, what is this going to call this again? I want to get this right. A revolver. GLs are tricky for me. Yeah. Well, this isn't technically a grenade launcher, even though it is one. The game just likes calling it a revolver. Yeah, it's not the earliest uh, grenade launcher in the game, though, they can get. At least the slowest power score one. Yeah, grenade launchers are tricky to use, but they deal good damage once you land, though. And I've actually come to like the Wasp more recently, when back then I hated it. But yeah. This is more kind of a chill build though. The more use just to get 4,000 power score. Otherwise, it wouldn't have the drop turret in here. Looks like a duck. It quacks like a duck. Yeah. Alright, mid boy, let's see what I got here. What kind of melee builds we're facing? Uh, click and cause B, to cause B, I'll keep an eye on them. Wait, Shadow Blaze? I think that's a melee build. So, assume we have at least one melee build on the enemy team. Is that a shotgunner build? There's a melee build on the team. Okay, I still can't overpower you, even with my engine. Do I have an engine on this build? I forgot. Well, it'll depend how fast I can go. If I go above 95, there's an engine on here. We lost a car. Uh, guy flanking left side. Let's see, does he also have a radar? He does, with the way that he's turning. I'll drop that there and flank him in. 
so that way we can push him to the other side and deal some damage. Or maybe force him to drop, yep. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Uh. He's blowing up. Get away from him. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. Yeah. That was fast. Yeah, that it's really not up to us to pull this out as a win. Hey, you know, hey, maybe we could pull it back, bro. It's a mind build. Ah, ah, my entire. I mean, I just, oh God. I'm the, the only thing that's more brain dead than a melee build is a mind build, in my opinion. Listen, I've seen the same guy running this book for like five days straight without changing it up. He just really loves his minds, you know, and I respect that actually, you know? I respect that. If you can stay with the same build that is honestly just brain dead, where if you lose even one will you done for, I respect it, you know? Because mind builds aren't as common as melee builds, and mind builds are actually pretty easy to beat. In fact, if you chase the guy and just like dodge and leave his mines, it completely shuts him down. So Cosby has the mind build players, essentially. At least uh Shadow Blazes, I believe is the guy. Only going against him again. Because like the real, if I see two to three clan members in the match and I see them repeatedly running the same type of build, I'm searching that clan with that build or build type. If I see them enough, I'll even differentiate between what kind of build that type is. So 3500 is a melee lance build with uh, rampage, while triple X3 is um. Just a normal melee build that's wider than what uh, the Black Sea's got. Or 3500, I mean. Uh, I don't die again. I mean, mine build. Oh, uh, Ratchers. The Vine Cactus. Yeah. He's disabled. So, King Nuke is the mine guy. Yeah, King Nuke has been disabled. The guy who uses mines. Damage cooler. What do you mean by that? Power. Uh, white is part damage. Yellow is cabin damage. So yellow basically means you're getting damage to the health bar. God, these two people though. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch this kind with um mind build. The uh Cosby clan. Oh, buckskin. Weapons of pilot builds are running. I mean, yeah, that is always true. Honestly. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not even in the clan, so nothing better than just to see what the common clan is at my power score that I play at, and then figure out what's common among the clans. So the Cosby clan runs mind builds, Triple X3 runs melee builds, and then 3500 runs melee lance builds with a little bit of rampage in there. Definitely interesting. And Dying Cactus seems like he finally got a clan. I don't think he was one before. Uh, he's a shield cover who runs Ratchers at his power score. Yeah. I mean, just because of it though, I always associate melee builds with clans now because I usually see melee builds from people in clans. Uh, we're against the mind build people again, big boy. So that'd be King Nuke and Shadow Blaze. But, then again, I said, like, if your build's slow, oh my god, they're absolute hell to play against, but if it's somewhat fast, like mine, and you actually have good reaction time, yeah, you can probably beat them, at least half the time. But I said, you still gotta respect it, though. Like, in fact, I'm, the complete counter, honestly, to a the mine build is probably a uh, drone build, honestly. 
since that way you can just focus on dodging while the drones attack them. And more teammates, on comes a good build to have the dog build. See, I keep hearing the dog build slung around when I check the Reddit. And when I think of the dog build, I think of double Thunderbolt Ram. But what is actually the dog build, though? Or whatever. Or is that just a term for the meta? There's the mine guy. And there's the other mine guy. I'm out of the fight. I'm in position. Capture the dog build. Still, so... The dog build I'm guessing is what I guess the melee build then? I still have no idea. Because all I hear is the term slung around so much. And I don't know what a dog build actually is. So W is your melee touch flamethrowers, and they have the hooks up top so you can catch the hovers, and the open mouth of the build makes it look like a dog. I see. So basically, nothing creative after six years of the game being out or so, noted. Which, how long has this game been out for? I mean, the hooks are new one. I think I've only seen uh, one hook on a melee build at this power score. Cross out release date. I'm actually curious. When did I cross out? I think it's 2013, right? Uh, 2017? Oh. So it's 2017. So, wait. Yeah, five years, not six. Then. Besides, it's why you saying the open mouth. That just makes the things of the Cerberus cabin. But then again, why become creative? Just use one of the Growl cabin. Uh, Growl, um, what's the blue one called again? <laughs> Not the Pilgrim. This thing can be set for the Gunsel. How original six to guns help your build? Oh, this opponent's a play style. Yeah, that is true. But hey. At least with the guns, they are switchable out, because we're going to do upgrading melee to have something that looks slightly different with more damage. Uh, no clan on either side this time. Here's the task. Capture the enemy base and don't die. So, I mean, you like that though. It was going to just generalize thing, but you know it's... They're breaking through here. Yeah, so do I. That's in every map, big boy. Where's different melee? Yeah. Oh. I mean, you do see the uh, buckskin, but isn't it only like harvesters, flamethrowers, and the normal melee build, like uh, drills and all that, and that's essentially it? Or something like that? Because I only know three different types of melee in this game. Like the house. Because I know some people would generally like shotguns as melee when I personally wouldn't. Yes, another one. Yeah, yeah nice. Oh, I'm, gonna... I'm gonna die here, I need to blow up. We got boars, lasers, harvesters, maulers, slamethrowers, tempers, sparks, and lances. I see. Oh, yeah, that is true. I just realized my does this automatic stuff, but I think I've only seen one last raider this entire time. I do know, when I say I am happy though, but. Lavis. But then again, a last raider is just the knockoff harvester though, at the end of the day, in my mind. It's just smaller, essentially, that's it. 
In fact, I'm actually sad that there's a more harvester build like this power score. I think I prefer that than the current just spam uh, saws or the hell the first blue is. Skills. Each on booster made 10%. Uh, um, let's see here. What is the blue man weapon called? I don't know if it actually is called Augur or not. It might be. They're called Borers. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. That's what almost every single build has at this power score. If I can go through here. Uh, I see most of the blues now. Yeah. I think back then melee, like, that only cost one energy, though, but it wasn't as powerful. The chainsaws boost the energy cells by... 10% per one, yeah. But someone look at the buzz saws though, which I just said only know like one person that runs them. You know, it's kinda like one or two of them. Does additional damage on contact with the target. Skinner. Skinner is I don't is Skinner actually considered melee in this game though? Because I don't know if I would consider it as such. Because I've used it to tow people around before it lost their wheels on an ally team, at least. But I guess the point where it's like, okay, it's mine, it's considered part of melee. Because technically you do have to come in contact with them for it to work, or at least close enough. Because the real question is, where do you draw the line for melee in this game? You know? Because you could overgeneralize even say shotguns are melee, for example, just because the only effect of that close range. What big blue? And why is that? I've heard people call shotguns melee before, bro. Just because you need to be close range for it to work. Yeah. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, I am just saying, I ha oh my god, big boy, I have heard people call shotguns melee before because I'm close to me, I'm not saying they are, I'm saying I've heard of people say it, and I, I think it's stupid, yeah, and to me it does too, that some people actually think, I mean, it depends on the game, of course, like if it's a type of shotgun I have to stab someone then fire it, then yeah, Maybe. That's still stretching it. But I have heard of people call shotguns a melee weapon before. You know, I personally disagree. But yeah. Anyway. I'm running a weapon, you'll probably only see me running and like two other people in the entire game. Mine builds here again. And good, you did find a decent set. That's my Shadow Queen. I mean, to be fair, they're big boy. Those are the same people say if you put a um, sniper scope on a machine gun or assault rifle, it's a sniper or the MR. I've also heard of that before. I've heard some crazy stuff before in some games. Hello, Nocturnal. Hope you're having a good day. But I have actually heard it. Like, I'm being serious. Where people will put scopes on stuff like light machine guns, assault rifles. And they'll burst fire it or just tap it and say that's a DMR or a sniper rifle. 
But I have heard of people say that before, though. Yeah, just so I've met some interesting tanks on weapons, shall we say, in my time in gaming and all that. Are you on top of that, bruh? When the melee build doesn't work. Oh my god, let's see. They do have one that... They do have that one shotgun that does melee damage, I believe. Uh, the goblin. The goblin is what you're thinking of, where it has spikes at the front. And you can use it for ramming into people and then shooting. I think the idea behind this is you just jam into people, but then again... Good luck finding someone who runs that and not some, like, Spitfires or Sledgehammers at Blue Rarity. Actually, did they move goblins up to Cyan? I don't know. Yeah, it's a good news for your boy here. Best I can hope for is to get some good damage off at the end. Oh, babes. My does are great, Dread. I mean, that is true. You know? Insane, I would have heard. Those cause you guys grip. I mean, that's true, but it does come on the fact that mine builds are hard to counter, though. At this score. Because, in fact, you know what? I know a perfect way to counter him already. I'm switching to a different build. Okay, I'm actually about to pull this out. Beth, uncue the battle. No, I don't want to go to battle, though. <laughs> Oh, I guess they're forcing on the battles. Mine builds annoying. I mean, yeah. Like, I respect them for running it. But, I don't see how you could just run that, like, four, six, seven hours straight a day and not get bored of it, though. You know? I do, I do respect it, though. Because it's more rare than melee builds. And melee builds get tiring to face after a certain amount of time. Yeah, let's make a trade on some Spitfires and I guess. 99. Because I'll say this, if you face a build repeatedly, yeah, I could learn how to counter a melee build, but I've seen like five different types that I face at least once a day at this power score. So I can probably only build realistically to counter two of them. And the way to counter the land smoke that the 3,500 people have is do spaced armor. Or legs. Like legs generally counter melee builds because you just walk over the person. But then the downfall comes with legs is that if someone has shotguns, nothing stops them from camping up beneath you and just shooting your frame out. And I've seen that happen to me quite a few times. I was like, it, it all comes down to the person at the end of the day, really. You know? Oh man, that's good. We're in the same team. Yeah. Um, hmm. Let's see, I think we can win this one. I mean, if we can win this one, at least when a match runs, I'll be happy. The life will have been changed. I the enemy's destroyed. Have some faith, bro. I'd stick him. Yeah, yeah, bro. We need to have faith in us, bro. One, don't break the mic before it explodes. Yikes. Oh, it still blew up, though, so that's nice. That should disable him a little bit. Yeah, he's kind of dragging his front now. So as long as I go forward, I should be able to be fine. Even with a broken wheel. Two of them are on me, which means they're not paying attention to the allies. I'm about to make a tough call here. Protect the base now. And I did not predict that right. I thought the guy keep chasing me from behind. I like to run my other builds. I see. I mean, 
As long as I access you mixing it up, though, instead of seeing you run the same exact melee configuration for a week straight, if we ever are if one on the same system, or when crossplay happens. And uh, yeah, I think I can respect it. Like, in fact, the day I see someone make a reverse melee build is the day I respect it. Put melee in the back and back into someone. Um, I mean, there's some melee builds I've thought of that could actually be pretty good. So I've also been thinking of, I don't know if you can flip melee to be vertical, I think you can, from what I remember. But essentially, take some legs in the cabin and put melee on the bottom of the cabin. So that way when you walk over somebody, you can just shred them from the top down. Be interesting to do. It's something I have seen done in the past before, but I don't know if it'd work now. It's not changed how the game works in regards to it. Let's see, see, so yeah, it wasn't our day. There. Back out of that. And then, I can change my build up. And all that. Let's be a little bit more anti melee. So let's see, so I'm gonna want the Quas build. The Quas. And then, move that. Less armored front. Alright. And let's get an undermounted wasp. Here going. And we can check to see if that makes sure that works. Once we go back there, let's get an emily on top of this. And it cost four. Now let's see. I think I have. Yeah, that'll still affect my, um, wasp, though, so I'll keep it. Alright, let's see what's under here. Do I need this? I do not. I do have an engine on this build. I don't, but I don't need it, though. I don't think it increases speed, sadly, since only the Steppenwolf cabin can for legs. Yeah. I mean, it helps you get the speed, though. Let's see. Alright. A little bit of a higher power score here, but that's not stop the game from putting up against people we can't face. It is not crap time. Undermounted Wasp, here we go. That's a great because you can know, shoot down at people usually with this build. I just wish this could actually move left and right without needing to be pushed. So, here's those shotguns are quite something. I mean, I have yet to see that at my current power score, but when I've dipped into 6,000 for I have seen it. And, uh, pair that with Thunderbolts. Yeah, I'm gonna cry if I ever see that again. Because it was more common back then. Alright, break that off. It's taking a while for us to find a match. I wonder why. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say this, I'm probably one of the only few people that actually run the Carapace cabin. So let's go every single cabin that's used at 4,000 power score. Bear. Growl. There's only two you'll ever see. With the occasional... Fury. I mean, shout out to my- shout out to you, big boy. With like one of the three people I see running Trucker. At least that cabin. I respect it. Ugh. Haven't seen Jockey before. Have seen Hot Rod though. Jockey would be interesting though, because it looks like it'd be some kind of uh, engineering truck, whatever. Oh, we're against the DM DMGT member. 
so don't know anything about them right now. Let's see if I get a lucky hit here, you never know. The boss won't be able to drop that much, but it's more of a fear tactic. No way I'm beating you, Big Bum. I'm only running lags, after all. Also, most fun if you people run legs. Like, I've only seen like two other leg belt players since I came back, which is sad. That's actually a pretty fun movement item to have. Another one bites the dust. I hear melee. I'm sure glad you're on our side. That must be pretty confusing, huh? How do you beat, uh, this guy with melee? He's one of the few people whose melee is actually high up there. Bam. Disable his side. A big boy hoping to kill the guy who killed me at least. And that host now went out the door. Hey, there's a guy who killed me. Are you blowing up or is he blowing up? Dang, he survived two explosions. Nice. Double synthesis, very powerful. I've yet to do it, but I'd like to do it one day. This is a strong weapon to have. And people actually underestimate its damaging capabilities. It looks like the AI isn't a complete idiot here though, so that's good for us. So we can expect her to probably kill off one, maybe two people. But if the enemy stays smart though, yeah, she's not getting anyone. Yeah, go ham on him, please. Kill him off. We've been avenged. Don't let synthesis build exist. Go strong. Like, I can probably make a quick and easy and fast synthesis build, like right now if I wanted to. Anyway, I'm not ready for battle. Like 75 damage every volley. Now that does not seem like much, but then you gotta consider the fact it's actually pretty fast. And accurate too. Because unlike machine guns which have a little bit of variance with the recoil, synthesis just goes straight. That's the benefit of just hot plasma being slag, I guess. I'll say, out of all the weapons I've ever tried in this game, I'm most disappointed in the Yokai weapon. It's really weak. It's essentially a wasp. But it can only shoot one missile and it's straight where you're aiming. So you're taking an extra thousand power you know, squid just to be able to aim boys. one rocket. And you just get more of your buck for just having one loss than having one yokai on your build, in my opinion. Since yokai is kind of more for looks than damage. Sad, but true, in my opinion. Oh, this is without the, um, uh, engine now. Yeah, that's too bad. Pretty easy to lead the shots of synthesis, too. Behind. Oh, yeah. oh god, that was not good. Good ramp down here. I don't know what weapon that is actually. That looks like a summiter. Got him. Got more powerful than you. Damn. Hey, we win! Good face for those or this one's another level. Wait. Quasar is a bad weapon. And let's go, baby boy. Finally won one. 
But how the Quintessor is a disappointment? Because it seems like when AI uses it, it acts absolutely shreds me. I think I am running a light build, so. Is the Quasar really that bad, though? Right, let's see... I mean, generally the worse the weapon, the cheaper it is. Well, you won't see this. I mean, you won't see any of these actually in a match. I've seen the Vaughn, though, before. But the Quasar... I'm too lazy to search up. I forgot they had, like, so many purple weapons, though, so it'll actually take a while. Gremlins are purple. What? They made them purple? Wow. These used to be blue. I believe. Unless well, it's a different one I was thinking of. There's Quasar. Oh. Can't escape me, Quasar. I see you. So this. For, oh, well. We will never know. So, big boy. Cannons. Are they sniper or not? We got two melee builds in here. We also got the Rig Clan on our side, but they're actually a little bit lower on the scale of power. Go, go. Some people think cannons are snipers. The enemy's right ahead. Some people think cannons are snipers. This are laser bunch. cannons, I see. There's the melee builds. It looked like they actually kind of We're messed up though this people. time, which is good for us. Surprisingly precise yeah, get your melee build out of here. For shame. I say that, but it's not even the right people, I think, actually. There's the melee build people that honks the horn and you can kill you. Yep. The bullet trail is so slow, that is true. Ah, uh, can we win this? I don't know. Let me just kill that melee build though, I'll be happy. Well. I see, I got killed off by two of them. I like it's got a Yao Gwai. So far it weapons in my opinion. Dang. Can you try best Let's see. But the bullet shot is so slow. Did I see longer? I meant the further they shot. So, they deal massive damage the farther. Oh. So, the farther they travel, the more damage they do. Interesting concept. Interesting, actually. Yikes. Jeez. That's actually really interesting, then, to know. I mean, that would explain why I'd never see one use a good mode. Okay, so let's see. Plasma gun. For each direct hit, the reload speed will be re increased. The bonus increases with the distance to the target. Um, with the way this is worded, that implies that if you hit someone, it's going to take longer to reload. It's like the slowest machine gun shot in the world. That's what MLG means, but yeah. Oh, like, okay, pro level stuff, Mimi, yeah. Uh, that bonus, though, is not very clear. Oh, it's the Mali Bell people again. 
like the lances and all that big boy. Be careful. So it's hard to take out the wheels at once because they're usually outdated. This is a booster, apparently. Yeah, but if you see a 3,500 clan, those are the people with lances and stuff you play in console, but the people I'd say look out for is the hate clan. H-A-T-E, because if the AI is less than alive, they will prolong the match. Did it one time with me and my friend, and I still hold that against them to this day. Because that's not something I've ever seen happen before, and I know I'll never forget it as a result. Yeah, yeah G. Oh, and I wasn't being careful, so I got killed. I mean, then again, respect the people who do use it. In fact, believe it or not, I have used the incinerator before that catapult. And, uh,. I like it. This game is over for me, guys. But that was on my old account, though. From, like two years back. Like the lances and booms good. Um, I don't know what a boom is. The lances, uh, the blue ones aren't as good as the purple ones. But at this level, and with where most people place their field tanks, yeah, lances are pretty good. I'd say if you know the weak points, you can see them. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's see. But for my experience though, it's hard to be okay? Other okay. Oh, the meta builds and type lances, situational you know, rooms. I don't know what that is. Unless it's like blowing yourself up. Enemy detected. Joining the and look at that, immediately an enemy is killed. Which is a rip for them. But we can now see how these guys kind of play, but they use my builds to typically go for the weakest people or AFK people, and they capitalize off of that. First, I'll just say you don't want any kind of fight, but yeah. Alright, good. You're never gonna beat me in a turn battle. And that's just the truth. Everybody needs help here. I didn't realize he had a gun. That's the difference. And he killed me. Oh well. And it's a clan member. How am I not surprised? Another one's hold up in here somewhere. Like every time I get killed by Melba, the first time I expect Like I expect it to be a clan mouse in Melee, but Doom 6 and his Lance, but Teal and no buffs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Lances are good. Boom sticks are tragic. Yeah, I just don't see people wearing boomsticks anymore, so I'm surprised you even asked that, honestly. Is all. So, yeah. So let's see how this is going. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, 
let's see. I'm dipping things in my turn. Oh yeah, I'll catch you later if you ever revisit us. I think it, it would be a fun build to change things up. Lances and boomsticks? I mean, I've seen a lot of that in a day. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, this used to gain charges when it was gaining speed. So it's actually based on how fast you're going now, so that's good to see. But I don't know. It's not really a fan of melee-based stuff. Even lances and boomsticks go really too, believe it or not. But maybe it will be a fun change if I eventually do buy them. Because I do plan on owning every blue and up weapon and stuff. You know, it'll take like years to get to. You never know. If you're in buggy tires, you get the buff without going fast. The buggy tires? Is like an actual name or is it just like the white ones or whatever? Because I'm not familiar with tower. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. See if they ran me, they won't reverse those so going forward. Sad truth. There's a whole bunch of them around here. Oh, it's fun. Shut up, boys. Get the D point. Get the Get the D point. Get the D point. Oh god. I'm coming. No. Yes. Yeah, again, they're self build. Mess up them for doing absolutely nothing wrong. Not playing perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You have to deal with making like it clapped. Teammates, flank him. Absolutely bamboozle him. Oh, uh, got hurt. Wow, I thought you kind of messed up with this game, but I see that. You might see my boss now. Oh, he blew up in my face. That's not fun. Hey, if you do enjoy this, you know, I do stream this game. At least I'm gonna get back into it, and I stream at the same time every day. At least try to. So I start between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At least I try to. Yeah. I just chill, play cross salt, try to get new things, essentially. I think we won this, though. So that means you don't need player death in here. Since Ethan's just an AI. It was nice knowing you do. Oh. Oh, so of course, yes. Run a domination battle without being destroyed. Sounds nice. Let's see. I am getting closer to building into the Dawn of Children, which is my first advanced faction on this account, so that'd be nice to get into. To actually finally have their stuff, like Mars parts, space stuff, all of that. Alright. Um. My offers... Hmm... Oh yeah, the Spitfire. Yeah, that's how I was trying to trade off. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I was trading something here. Guess I didn't notice it when it popped up. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna do a few more matches and call it, you know? Maybe, I don't know. Really depends. Stuff, so what's this? Level some Perseus? Yeah, you're getting reworked, so I don't have any desire to spend an ungodly amount of resources on you just to get a small return and compensation for it. But uh, thanks for telling me it's level 7, though. You know? I gotta respect it. Yeah. If any of you are console players out there, at least Xbox, might join your plan. You know, and all that. 
I don't know though. Because I wouldn't really be affected in Brand Wars since I don't take some stuff seriously that I should. And my friend could definitely say that for me. I don't know actually. Oh, I I'm sorry, Melee Build. I didn't see you there. I'm trying to kill the weakest person on their team. I moved you! Let's go. I moved. I moved. Oh. Ah, ah. See, you may have hit me there, but you'll never catch me again. I think. Shut up! Shut up! I, I'm fashion. I may have messed up. How do you feel about that? I, it was a tap, bro. I wasn't even trying to. You know what? I can't deal with you sometimes. I can. How are you gonna have a heavy ass build and say that to me? I can't push you around. I, I'm not one of the three people who play the trucker cabin, bro. He's on the damn bridge. That's where he's capturing from. I'm coming for you, bro. Don't worry about it. What's up? Yo, we jumping now. Oh, damn. The power of the synthesis comes undone. Oh my god! It's one of the few people I joined last Raiders! Die! Please? Wow, that's a hell. I just had a mire for a second there. It's very rare sighting in the last Raider build. Kind of got a lot of points there, but we don't talk about that apparently. Yeah, I gotta respect it though. That's insane. We're doing good though so far, I'd say. Alright, let's get into it. Next one. Oh, uh, well, my phone went AFK at the start of the match. Oh, uh, we got the clan as an old oh, triple X3. They're finally on. Those are the people with the normal melee build. I forgot what it's like, but we're about to see it in action now. Oh, I haven't seen these members before, though. No. No, 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 no. He's here. He's been here all along. Oh, we're about to see Melee Build versus Melee Build. Who's more superior? Lances or not Lances? Yep, the Melee Builds are facing each other off. And the clan beef to the death. Yeah, they're having a beef off over there. I gotta respect it. Yeah, bro, this is a synthesis. You're kind of sleeping on it, though. Yeah. Typical. As I always say, why go for anyone who's actually strong? We can just kill the weak people. Alright. That's how I die to it. But hey, harvesters though, so that's nice to actually see it for once. Alright. You have three melee versus him. All your piece done for. Remember this moment on why I don't like that gland? They spam horns every time they kill you. Like, <laughs> I get it, you hit like 10,000 for the horn, but no one cares still. For me, they do, I don't know. But, I'm gonna end it off there though for y'all. I'll catch you on the next one tomorrow at the same time. Have a good one. Peace. I guess if you like this stream, you could just follow it too. That'd be nice. Bye.